Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Merch University. Um, glad you guys are here today. And today I want to talk about, um, you know, a little bit about trademarks and really um, about someone who was recently kicked off of Merch by Amazon for um, uploading a trademark design. Not a, really a trademark design, but it was the idea behind it. And, um, you know, they actually had an image and they had, you know, some words. I think it was a quote from the movie. And, um, yeah, so actually this this person was only actually I was actually I was uh, before they've been on for about six months and um, they reached out to me probably like maybe like two or three months ago. And um, I was trying to help them out. They were doing good. They were um, they were only at the 100 tier. They had. Uh, I think I believe only about 18 sales uh, to date. And so, um, you know, they were still trying to get the hang of it. And, um, you know, they were really excited about uh, being on merch. And so, um, of course, they were probably looking through um, shirts and, you know, Halloween. And they were wanting to upload some, you know, Halloween designs, of course. And um, after probably doing their own research, you know, they came across... Uh, they what they did is you know what I what I always hear all the time they're like if why can't I put it up if it's already on Amazon that's like the main question I always get like Joe can I upload this and I'm like no you can't they're like well there's already some on Amazon they like, well you can't do it anyway it's because some of these things these trademark they get by of course you see them on Amazon all the time some of them they just get by through the system through merch or um, they try to uh, you know skirt tail the system where they'll try to maybe they'll whatever they put on the shirt they're not putting those on the keywords and so it just slides in and slides by and get, and goes live and so um, not that this person was trying to do that. I don't think that they were just because, um, you know, I was trying to help them and stuff. And so I was, I actually, actually saw some of their designs before in the past and they were just, you know, you know, basic designs over, you know, evergreen stuff. And so it wasn't, um, you always hear about these terminations and people going, oh, they, they did something, you know, they're not telling you, well, this person told, he he told me, he told some other people, and I'm actually going to show you that design. And, and so you you will kind of get the um, get to see, you know, what this person did. But uh, I know a lot of people here, um, I've seen a lot of people try to put up uh, shirts that had to do with it. Um, I don't know if you've seen that lately. A lot of people, I see the with the balloon and um, the clown and, you know, a lot of stuff. You know, I see, I see a lot of people trying to do that. Um, there's a lot of people trying to put shirts up about, you know, actually some of the, I actually don't really watch a lot of scary movies, but I see the, I see like references all the time on, um, on all these movies, you know, just from these movies. And, uh, so, um, one thing I was going to talk about is that, uh, what, what I see people do sometimes is they will, um, th they'll just you know, come up with their, um, their own, I don't know, their own phrases, but, um, you know, you could tell that it's from that movie or, um, oh, here's a big one. They're all, they'll always try to put up silhouettes of whatever, um, niche that might be, you know, it doesn't even have to be Halloween. It doesn't even have to be, um, something scary, but they're, they're always trying to put up stuff like that. And so that's just something that, um, you need to stay away from. That's just not something that um, you need to always try to do and always always try to get around the system because not only will um, Amazon take down your listing, I mean, then they will suspend your account, of course, and they will terminate your account, but uh, you can't get away from it because somebody, somebody will report it or um, maybe the trademark whoever owns a trademark will see it and they will report it and your um, shirt will get taken down. Now, um, I understand if you, you know, you put, you know, I actually, I think when I was talking to this person about the, their design that they put up and um, they didn't think nothing of it. They didn't think anything of it. Um, they actually made their own, um, they actually made their own graphic. 
Um, and so, which you'll see in a, in, a, in a little bit, you'll see like the graphic that they made and the quote that they used. And I, I, you know, I've never seen the movie, but I think that the quote um, is from the movie. And so that is one thing that you can't do. And I remember being a newbie, being, a, you know, brand new to merch and, you know, wanting to put um, lyrics um, from movies, from songs and you know, and, you know, on there, you know, and just, just to put them on there, maybe not any graphics, but just text only, but, um, you know, just come to re realize that you cannot do that. Um, not only will you get in trouble, um, I've had some people who, friends who've gotten in trouble from, um, not Amazon at all, but they had, they got in trouble from lawyers, from other companies who own these trademarks, who were, uh, coming after them, you know, and scaring them off of, you know, scaring them into, you know, whatever. And so, you know, they haven't, you know, they're, they're on merch still, but just a little bit because um, you do have to be really careful. You know, it's better to um, stay away from anything that has to do with trademarks. If that's a sports team, recently I was asked about, can we, um, pretty much, can we make a shirt with the city's name and the team's colors, but it not relate to football. Or, you know, and I'm just like, no, you can't do that. I mean, even uh, I live here in Oklahoma, you know, and of course I support the Sooners. And um, I've even looked up on their um, trademark stuff about their, I read a lot of stuff about their license, about their licensing. And they have one thing on there that says, um, you can't make a shirt that says Oklahoma with the school colors or even with the, um, even with like, you can't have it on a red shirt and it say white in Oklahoma, you know, because those are the colors of the football team. You know, you can't do that because it's all about you're in um, infringing on the likeness of the school, you know. So um, somebody can't just come along and, um, you know, s somebody might mistake your shirt for like their the school shirt. And so um, I don't really know a lot about like the legal details. So this is not legal advice. This is just me telling you what I read on their website. And so like, okay, I, I, that makes sense. You know, um, someone can't just come along and, you know, put Sooners on a shirt and, um, you know, have it be red and white because, you know, that would be infringing on the school, of course. But, uh, so yeah, so make sure you're checking all your trademarks. Make sure you're going to, um, USPTO, uh, checking on here, come in here, um, type in tests, um, and so, you know, it'll bring up this trademark, um, electronic search system and, you know, type, type in, you know, type in whatever, come here to, I always come just to this basic, um, search, you know, and then type in what, whatever you want to, whatever you want. You know, here's one I looked up a long time ago, queen of the camper, you know, back in um, the summertime, you know, look, there's, there's, it's a, it'll come back like this. It'll say, um, no test records were found to match your criteria, um, you know, click on the back browser. And so it'll, it'll show up like this if um, something is not trademarked. But okay, let's, uh, I know what y'all been waiting for. And here it is. Here's the design that, um, that was taken down from this person. And so here it is right here. So, as you can see, this design, uh, the person told me they made it themselves. They made it themselves. And the quote, um, is, it must be from the movie because the movie is from Hocus Pocus. If you haven't um, seen the movie or, I, you know, actually, I don't, I've never seen this movie. So, I guess I'm assuming the quote is from the movie Hocus Pocus. And, and if you, if you're searching for Halloween shirts, especially if you're researching, you will see a ton of these up, not only on merch, but on Etsy too. But I'm just saying pertaining to merch, there are a ton of these. So I could see how somebody new could see these and want to put them up because, um, they see them, you know, and they're not putting in the characters, actual faces. Um, but they are using, uh, they are using, you know, the text or the quotes from the movie. So that is something you can do. And so, you know, this person probably could have just got a, a rejection. 
and uh, but they didn't actually I think they uh, it went through actually I think the shirt went through they told me the shirt went through um, but then it was like a day later where it was pulled and when they went to go to their account again they were terminated so I mean you don't know you know I'm like I'm saying you know it, it would have I would I would hope that they would have got a um, just a suspension or something but no they got terminated you know they and you know they owned up to their mistakes you know they even um, posted about it you know and so you know they even told me and uh, you know I think I was I forgot where I heard it from but uh, heard that merch is a lot stricter stricter on people who have brand new accounts and if your account is six months um, you know if you're on the hundred tier you know you you have a brand new account I would say you know and actually the um, so I mean I don't know what what else they can do you know I don't think they're um, they're not gonna go on POD and you know what they know that they made the mistake you know they know and you know they there's nothing they can do about it and uh, it's not like they were they were their whole account was um, uh, towards trying to you know get around the system or trying to be trying to put up designs that were really in the gray area they weren't trying to do that because I like I said I've seen some of their designs before um, you know, they made the mistake of not checking and asking and um, so make sure you ask if you're brand new, make sure you ask even veterans, you know, even people who's been on for two years, you know, or even since the beginning, you know, make, you know, you should know, you should know, you should ask if <laughs> here's one thing that, oh, I always say and I people always say, if you have to ask if you can put this online the answer is usually no. That's that's kind of how I, if I'm questioning it myself, um, should this be allowed? No. Um, there's a shirt I saw uh, the other day when I was researching, and it has to do with Urban Myers. And the shirt says, like, um, Ur Urban and something about, like, the legend or whatever. You know, and as soon as I saw that shirt, I knew that it had to do with Urban Myers. And so even though they didn't say Myers, they had the school colors from Ohio State, um, everything. And so that's, you know, that's kind of trademarking or infringing on his likeness of who that is. And people are making money off of that. Now, you know, that is very kind of gray area, but I would stay away from that stuff. You know, you shouldn't, like I said, don't do that. Don't, don't try to infringe on other people or other people's work. Um, you know, there are tons of ideas out there. You know, you get so many people saying, well, there's no ideas out there or, you know, what I can't do. There are plenty of ideas out there. Um, you know, try uh, mashing up um, two different niches together, you know. Um, the story I tell over and over again um, where I would see people, I saw this guy last year in a restaurant around Christmas and he was a baseball player from the local college and um, his shirt was a, it was a picture, just a graphic only of a of a catcher from a baseball team, but the catcher was uh, Santa Claus, you know, dressed up in all Santa gear. But I, even though it had the mask on and had the you know the the catcher's mask on, had like the catcher's vest on, but underneath that was like a Santa, you know, a Santa person, you know, Santa of course, had all his clothing on, the gear and stuff, and just he had the hood on and stuff, I think. And stuff so it's all about just mixing and matching and um, you know trying different things you know so but that's all I got to say today I uh, hope you can learn from this and know that make sure you are not infringing on you know other people's trademarks or infringements so um, I will talk to you later and uh, thank you for watching this video y'all have a great day